Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Bog Rally mission in Ark Genesis. The Bog Rally mission is a new mission that's available in Arc Genesis. It unsurprisingly takes place in the Bog biome, and in it you'll be riding a Caprasuchus through a series of gates and trying to get to the last gate before the time expires. The mission itself is found by going into your missions tab and clicking on either the Bog Rally at Gamma, Beta, or Alpha difficulty, and then simply clicking on the Track Mission button on the top right. Once you've done that, you'll see an icon appear and you can simply go to the mission hub. There you can select either the Gamma, Beta, or Alpha difficulties, and you don't have to bring your own Caprasuchus. Thankfully, one will be supplied for you on this. Up until now, most of the race missions in Arc Genesis have been a little too hard to do, and that's especially true at Beta and Alpha difficulties, but fortunately there has now been a change as of patch 307. You can see there has been an increase to timers on various Beta and Alpha race missions, which means now you don't actually need a supercomputer in order to complete these things. After the patch, the Gamma difficulty of Bog Rally can be completed in up to 5 minutes and 40 seconds, which honestly is just an obscene amount of time. You don't need that long. At Beta difficulty, it takes 2 minutes and 50 seconds, and honestly, I was able to do that in my first go, no problem at all, and that was with several mistakes. For Alpha difficulty, you're given a 2 minute and 15 second timer in order to complete the mission successfully. There are a few tips I can give you to be successful at the Bog Rally. First off, do follow the path that is shown. For the most part, I find it to be pretty accurate and it helps you avoid many of the obstacles because honestly, you'll get hung up on this Caprasuchus on every rock and branch and animal that you come across. Next, you will see golden rings occasionally, and you'll definitely want to go through them because they do provide a remarkable amount of speed boost, but do try to align yourself in such a way as that you're pointing the direction you want to go before you enter the booster. One of the things that will kill an alpha run very, very quickly are the sulfur towers, for want of a better term. That is those large yellow structures that you can see in front right there. If they, if you pass them and they're emitting gas, they will lock you down and give you a, a blind effect that will slow you for a few seconds, and that will absolutely cost you an alpha run. Another important tip is really try to stay on the ground as much as possible. Don't jump, and uh, if you're boosted and you leave the ground, try to get back to the ground as fast as possible because this affects how fast you can turn, and honestly, you really need to be turning sharply and quickly in order to avoid obstacles and to get through the gates as fast as possible. But honestly, other than making sure to avoid hitting trees and rocks and and creatures and sulfur towers and making sure to stay on the ground and getting into the booster rings at the right angle so not to be shot out into space. This honestly isn't that hard of a race. All you have to do is just keep your wits about you and if you do make a mistake with the new amount of time you're given you are allowed a certain amount of forgiveness. You can actually screw up once or twice and still manage to complete the alpha mission successfully. But honestly, this is Ark, and Ark is random, so you're going to have runs where there's going to be dinosaurs standing where you don't want them to be standing. There's going to be sulfur towers that somehow manage to get you even though you're way too far away from them. I mean, that's just going to happen. But eventually, if you do this enough times and you just keep focused, you will be able to complete it successfully. Do you have any more tips about the Bog Rally? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel, and as always, have fun out there.